Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Holly Roth and on this channel you will find helpful and time-saving resources for teachers who are teaching online as well as those who might be teaching offline. I do offer a variety of children's read aloud series for kindergarten through second grade. And in fact, this is um, lesson six or the sixth story from Fables and Stories read aloud series for first grade. Uh, the story is called The Fox and the Grapes. Now, I want to remind you that um, we have been studying fables in this series and I want to identify the characteristics of a fable for you again. Uh, they are short, they have a moral that teaches a lesson. Some of them give animals human qualities like talking. Um, so I want you to think, is a fable real or make-believe? Hmm. Well, a fable is make-believe. It's fiction. Uh, the other type of story you might be thinking about is uh, something that's real. Um, it is called nonfiction. All right, I want you to take a look at this picture. Can you describe the illustration? What character do you see? What is that fox doing? Do you think the fox will be able to get the grapes or not? When we think about a question like that, we are making a prediction. We are guessing whether or not something will happen. So let's listen carefully to see if your prediction is correct. One hot summer day, a fox was strolling along when he noticed a bunch of juicy grapes just turning ripe, hanging on a, a vine high above. Mmm, that's just the thing to take care of my thirst, said the fox. He trotted back a few steps, then ran forward and jumped, just missing the grapes. He turned around and tried again. One, two, three, go, he said, and he lunged at the grapes with all his might. But again, he missed. Again and again he tried to pluck the grapes from the vine, but at last he gave up. He walked away with his nose in the air, saying, I didn't want those old grapes anyway. I'm sure they, they are sour. So the moral of this story, you shouldn't speak badly about something that you once wanted, just because you can't have it. All right, guys and girls, thank you for joining me for this fable. Join me for the next one. See ya. Oh, don't forget, subscribe. Bye.